Hey oh my planet zoo friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with Zelixor. Hey yo. And welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo Contest Edition. We have three more amazing creations to check out here today, and we're looking at the red panda today. So stay tuned and let's check them out. All right, welcome back everybody. If you guys are new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button for some more Planet Zoo content. And if you end up enjoying the video, leave a like. Uh, come join us on Discord. There's uh, still a few creations left open if you want to participate in this contest, the back end of this contest. So come into Discord, check out the rules and all that good stuff. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the first creation of the day. Red Panda Habitat, created by Seven, one of our Discord beginner builders. And here they say, this is a fully done red panda habitat with staff and guest facilities. It is an East Asian themed and fully sub submissive experience. Take a step into the world like no other and enjoy the company of our furry little friends as they climb about. Boom. All right, Ooh. let's dive on into it. Submissive park. Submissive. Very. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a grand, uh, what do you call it? Strip mall. Asian strip mall leading up to our habitat. I like the building, actually. Yeah, it's interesting. Just never seen that. Uh... Definitely not. Can you show us the tiny bamboo forests? Like, you want to go? Th oh, you want to go through here? Well, they're quite uh, big. Right. Uh, that's nice. Staffing area. Now, does the staffing yeah. area link into our habitat? Doesn't look like it. You want to go into the bamboo forest? No, because it's just huge. So, so okay. you want to zoom out? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> A little bamboo forest. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's cool. Tuk tuk. Like this swampy idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That grass is pretty tall through the walkway here. Oh. Uh, so this this is our habitat, looks like. It's a little viewing area here, but we got nothing but trees there. I think I saw a red panda down there. Yeah, so Now the sign kinda is in the way of the viewing. I would have put it off to the side. Mm hmm Oh, they're well, just, you know. feasting. And so underground viewing. <laughs> this is a little low. <laughs> or that guy is really tall. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what do we have back here? So our generators and stuff. Bonus points. Now remember guys, stay to the end of the video, after the third creation there will be a pop-up. And you will get to vote on your favorite creation of the three red pandas that we're going to be looking at here today. And the winner will go on to a, uh, another bracket to win prizes against the, the top winners overall category. Yeah. So this is a bit weird. Yeah, it is because they have to view over the rocks, and that's not gonna yeah. work because your line of sight. Oh, you see one there in the, in the tree. tree in oh, front of you. I need a thumbnail. Nailed it. All right. Yeah, but it is weird because they're kind of in the pathway, uh, and they have to view over the rocks. I think all the viewing areas are very crampy. I think this. This is, one is okay. Yeah, this one's okay, but there's Sorry. not much to look at. Oh. And, and it kind of ends there. It doesn't wrap around. We have all this ra wasted real estate. And oh, there's one on the... Oh, oh no. <laughs> tricked you! <laughs> He's escaping. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this is a lot of wasted real estate, in my opinion. Right? Yeah, you could have gone... Uh, so there's a look at the enclosure. Yeah. So let's hop on down there. there. The back, yeah. yeah, let's go in here and be a panda for the day. Now these things are cute. I I didn't. I've never seen one of these before. Planet Zoo. Have you? Yeah. You uh -huh. have. I did. Yeah. I, I uh. They look like raccoons. <laughs> yeah, they have. They had them in uh, Rotterdam in the zoo, and they have raccoons there as well. By the way, it's really funny. That's cool. 
I mean, all you have to do is come to my, uh, come outside of my house at night. And come see, to my house. Yeah, you'll see. The, oh, he's pooping. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we get raccoons sifting through our trash cans. We have locks on all of our trash cans in our neighborhood, but they're smart. The raccoons are smart. They know how to pick the locks, lift the latches. Mm. They're they're uh, sneaky little buggers. Mm. Yeah, I think raccoons killed one of my cats. Anyways, things got, got grim. <laughs> <laughs> not, the, not the one I just got. No. My, my old cat was really brave, and he would go hang out with the raccoons. He thought he was a raccoon. He was very confused. And one day there was fur all over the lawn, and I, my cat was nowhere to be found. So, uh, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well... <laughs> well, that's gonna do it leave for this a, episode. Leave a comment. I know. <laughs> Are you depressed? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, it was either that or coyotes, but life is. Yeah. So what? <laughs> oh, How many uh, pandas can you fit in an area? Oh, that's a lot. Check the barrier. Must be like ten or something. Eleven in here, but what does the zoopedia say? One to two. One to two. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't make any sense at all. <clears throat> How, they, they're, they're just fine living in here with 20 of them. Or 11, I guess. <laughs> really? I don't know. One maybe, to two? Maybe it's, just, maybe it's the size. Look at this feeding frenzy. My god. That sounds really disturbing. <laughs> Textures are great. Mm-hmm. But fur cute little guys. So what do you think the interior of the enclosure? Uh, again, a painting. Yeah, painting. Well, uh, that, I think that's a thing, I don't know, maybe it comes with uh, time, right? When you build more and more and more. You just, okay, okay. some little touch-ups. I like the The buildings are a bit, climbing. like all kinds of themes, I have to say. It's a bit of a mixed bag mm -hmm. of theming, but uh, yeah. yeah, for me, I think nice. the, the, the viewing areas need work. Maybe maybe I would have brought in that Asian theme into the uh, enclosure a bit more. You know, some yeah. Asian rooftop over overhead or something like that. Maybe integrated into this building a little bit because it's looking a bit plain. Mm. And then you look at some of these buildings, they look kind of nice, you know? So mm. I would Also, the trees, I would, <laughs> I don't know, done not some of them really don't fit. Yeah, that, that is true. These uh, ones here. Yeah. The Himalayan pines. And then you made this super nice areas with the water, like back when he entered it, like the uh, where the shops are. Right, but it's not in the enclosure. But it's, it's not. No, that's something like that would have been really amazing nice. if you put it there. Yeah, I agree. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below, and let's go check out the second creation of the day: Red Panda Palace, created by Haunted Eyes, one of our Discord advanced builders. And here they say, "I've always loved red pandas, and I'm so glad to express that with this build. The architecture is inspired by the amazing buildings found in Nepal, one of the places the red pandas uh, inhabit. The actual idea for the theme comes from my love of Disney's Animal Kingdom, specifically the Asian Asia section. Uh, they don't have." Have red pandas there though so i had to make my own take on it boom all right let's go check out the red panda palace and here we are it sure looks like uh, a building from that pop hmm just googling it now cool because if you go with the right away you think like india mm hmm right and it has so many colors i love the shot uh, here and this is a bit more, uh, you know, uh, a bit more plain, but right. It's represents the building style like uh, very well. So this is where the keeper gets in. Where's the keeper hut? It looks like our pandas are boxed up. I thought on sandbox mode you didn't have to worry about that stuff. So far, with a lot of the creations, no. we've been unboxing them. No, no, no. I mean. Yeah, it depends, maybe, if you... Did you turn on the settings? I think so, yeah. To, I checked uh, all the boxes. Alright. So, one big wide viewing area out front. 
Um, mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of the staff area, or there is no staffing building at all, is there? Unless it's in here. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a staff building. On the right? Oh, there's, there's the entrance. Yeah, so the staff don't even have a place to work. There would, this would have been a perfect place to make this nice little staffing area, you know? Mm. Integrate it in. We're not just missing it, right? The back of here? This building behind you? Yeah, there's like the water Go thing. Go through the doors. The, the staff mm. just walked through the wall. Oh, there it is. Interesting. So they they have all the stuff in this building, but it's not real. Okay, they come through here. And, yeah. And then they gotta walk. I mean, the building would have worked better over here. <clears throat> yeah, but there's also no way. Like, there's no doors that are open, right? So yeah. It's, yeah, if you wanna. It makes sense. To hide I, like I love that. this uh, temple thing. Yeah. It's amazing. The climbable things on the side. So th this this enclosure looks like it has less pandas overall. Two. Two. Yeah. I guess that's as intended. So these exhibits are actually really small, much like the grizzly bears. But I, I think if you could just put more in, why not? If the game doesn't freak out. Sure. Yeah. It's also yeah. I mean, how how much are you gonna see? I love how this guy's just like nesting in his freaking temple. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, how much are you going to see with two? It's a good point, right? Especially with these big open areas. I mean, this is quite the palace for just two little red pandas. Yeah, I mean, no, nothing towards uh, haunted, but no, no. You know, it's for the for the game, like you know, like right. Yeah, or you have to make a tiny enclosure, but then yeah, I don't know. Well, it's two adults, right? So they could have a bunch of little little cubbies. I don't know. Yeah, probably. It's nice. I would have liked to see some more integration with the the viewing. You know, it's just one flat viewing up front. There's no overhead. There's no underground. There's no cave viewing. There's, you know, maybe even with this building here, if it was pushed over just a little bit, you could have the guests kind of like walking up here and peering down. You know what I mean? If this was shuffled mm -hmm. over. And that would yeah. be like a really cool way of uh, integrating your viewing. Just little things like building that. Building is great. Oh yeah, the buildings are nice. So definitely get the bonus points for doing the uh, the nice buildings, the shops built in. Uh, I would have preferred the staff being closer to the actual entry gate. Uh, love the temple in the center. Mm. It's really nice. Yeah. All right. Awesome stuff cool. here today. Haunted ice. What did you guys think? We got an escape panda. What is going on? How'd they get out? Where is it? I, notifications. Pause. I love how everyone runs. Oh, he just climbed a tree. Hey? Eh? So yeah. the, okay, so the brand you have to watch out with the branches. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Gotta manage your like, branches. Would you, would you run if there was a red panda running through the zoo? Uh, yes. They really? They ate my cat. <laughs> they ate my cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next creation of the day, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Red Panda Park, created by Enigmandro, one of our Discord legend builders, and here they say, These is a mini zoo with only one habitat for Red Panda. Uh, there are staff rooms if you need to for running the zoo, five shops, uh, two toilets. It is covered up with a lot of foliage, and the habitat has a nice viewing platform. You can use this park as a starter park for Asian area. We could also do the null barrier trick and just steal it. All right, let's dive on into the Red Panda Park, everybody. Beautiful sign. Love it when we see this, you guys. Mm -hmm. And I like the walkway coming through as well. Looks nice. Little lamps yeah, and pretty... benches. Yeah. <clears throat> it's inviting. This little archway here. Got the little red pandas thrown about. It's great. Ooh. That's a great way of doing the glass. Yeah, it's just integrated nicely. Mm-hmm. That integration. Bonus points. Bonus. Ooh. I like this building as well. Information oh. everywhere as well. I wish there was a way to get up to those little towers. Toilets. Yep, here's a food court. Oh, the sign just blew up. Oh. <laughs> and the bench. Oh, and the... oh this old uh -oh. lady. You're breaking benches. 
Wow. Have some manners, would you? Yeah. Staffing area. Probably be better to put those on the back side, because they... It's the first thing you see when you come in. Yeah. Hmm? Maybe, yeah. But it, maybe this is staff only, so no one really gets there. Yeah. I like the statues on top as well, Let's like a little detail. See what you're saying. This is the guest area, so it is kind yeah. of covered. Yeah. See the statues on top here? Oh. Oh. It's nice, a little detail. Mm hmm. This is a nice. And, uh, this is all decorated as well, I like all the window covers. Mm hmm. Looks really it's good. Nicely done. Really great staffing. Probably the best staffing so far. Mm. I mean, uh, I liked Floss's underground staffing. That was really cool. Yeah. It's a good way to hide it as so. Oh, look at that. We got a gazebo up there. Let's go around and see this. So we got a tiny little viewing window here. Although you can't really reach it. And then we got viewing oh, nice. all the way around. <clears throat> Now, my, why, my one issue with the single-sided glass, everyone just ends up using it everywhere. You know what I mean? It's like, why not? Because yeah. then, then the animals just feel safe all the time. Because if you don't mm -hmm. use it, then, you know, it just causes problems. But then it's it's excessive everywhere. And I think... Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel like a, yeah. a good design is using a mixture of both, but knowing when to use it. Right? I noticed a lot with the uh, antelopes. They just went nuts. Yeah, they go berserk. They oh, hate God. being seen. Yeah. I love this uh, stairs leading to this gazebo and the gazebo It's itself. a great way of doing the overhead viewing. Yeah. Now, what would be even cooler is if underneath was the cave for sleeping. If you could pull mm -hmm. that off, that would have been cool. I love the little zen garden with the bridge. It's cool. Yeah. Climbing area. This... Lots of climbing. Look at these guys. So cute. Oh. He just trashed it? Look at all the stuff that came out. <laughs> That's quite the climbing area. And, oh, it would be cool if you had a bed up here. Like the last creation. Yeah. Climb up. They have the yeah, bedding down there. Oh, stairs here. It's mm -hmm. quite nice. Looks quite good. Yeah, I love the way the stairs are it's built quite in. Realistic. Yeah. It gives the, the staff a chance to get up there if they're pooping up top or whatnot. <laughs> mm-hmm. I you know what I really don't like the water. Like the uh those things. These? Yeah. Yeah, they are a little bit of an eyesore. Yeah. Wish they would I mean, have come up with a bit more creative way to add that. Got a floater. Yeah, I, I think why not just let them drink from the water? Yeah. Right? If the water is being purified and cleaned anyway, I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, anyway, good. I uh, love the, uh, what are they called? The, the cherry blossom trees? Cherry blossom, yeah, they're amazing. This is really well. well. Yeah. Red one. It's a very big area just for the two little guys. I would just put more in, screw it, you know? Are there more? I just think there's the two. Oh. No, but it, you made a whole little park area, so definitely get the, the bonus points there. I mean, it looks like a, the start of a really nice zoo. Yeah, that's for sure. As she said, it could be used as like a, a starter park if you want. Uh, I think there's a lot of little good things to take from here in terms of like artistic designs, like with the gazebo mm -hmm. here and all the staff management buildings look really well decorated. So definitely get the bonus points there. Uh, at the end of the day, you guys are the ultimate deciders. So poll's gonna come up in the top right corner here and uh, you get to decide what the best creation overall was. What was your favorite and why? Leave your comments down below, leave a vote and uh, you guys get to determine who the winner yes. of the red pandas are. Go vote. Go vote. <laughs> Voting is important. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three great creations. Really good stuff, you guys. From a beginner, an advanced, and a, 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 a legend builder. Great variety. Great pandas. Amazing stuff, you guys. 
All right. Uh, any final thoughts, Zell? No. Yeah, great. Oh, and I like the uh, ramp up and you see diff three different levels and uh, the same animal that you get. Mm -hmm. All right. Beautiful stuff, you guys. Uh, be sure to tune in for the next episode. We're going to be covering the gharials and crocodiles. So. Ooh. Very fun stuff. All right, everyone, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more of these Planet Zoo videos, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye now. Bye now.